Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Joshua Hines and the project manager on this job, his name is? Jason Hines. Jason Hines. And this is Construction Junction. All right, so we're continuing on our, our coronavirus quarantine project, father and son project. Uh, it's, it's coming along nicely. Uh, we, we reached the weekend again and we're back at it. But first today, uh, we got to get rid of some, some of this trash uh, that we have uh, on the job uh, so far. Uh, so we're going to make a quick little trip to, to the dump. And we're going to first we're going to strap all this trash down, put it on the truck, strap it down. And we're going to get it to the dump and show you what that process is like. Everything that we do takes time. Um, and it all is, is physical work. So we have to go through the process and get it done. And I just want to show you so that you know uh, what's going to need to be done at your house. Uh, having a truck is a great thing. Um, I believe everybody should have a, a pickup truck. Anybody who owns a home should, should have a pickup truck, uh, bar none, uh, especially if you want to be doing things in your house. So get, get a truck, everybody. Um, it's going to help you out greatly. So we're going to go ahead, load up, get to the dump, get this video started. Here we go. the contractors so the contractors couldn't get in so we had to wait a long line and then we're finally in and then we're waiting to put our stuff in the dump and let me show you this is a long line and I don't think you can see it but there's a long line right there you can see a car right there and you can see in the mirror there's a bunch of people behind us and we're just waiting to get in the dump because so many people want to throw stuff away. So I will meet you at the dump. Bye. the dump. <laughs> See? Those are pounds of trash that other people put there. There's birds watching. You can see them? Birds watching. Like 
Mr. Bird, Bird, Birdies, and I guess they like to see trash. He's unwrapping. Oh, there's a big bump on the truck. Those might be ravens. Nope, they're black. They're blackbirds. They're not ravens. They're not purple. Look out for the video, those videos and the merch. Bye. Or, the video isn't done yet. I'm just saying bye to the camera. Because I'm going to end the video right here. Wait. End my taping here. Then we're going to go back to the house. And do some more work there. So this is not the end of the video. To be clear. Okay. If it was, it would be a very short video. So this is not the end of the video. I have no idea what we're going to do next. Maybe we're going to clean. Maybe. And we'll be done. My dad said we'll be done this week or next week. So, hopefully we get done. Then we can do one of those three things I told you. Remember? Remember? You better remember. Mm -hmm. You better. So, yeah. Be bye. See you guys in the bathroom. And finally, we got back from the dump, and, and Jason is, is just wiping the floor down real quick in preparation for the, the baseboard uh, setup. So that's what we're going to do next. Uh, the dump took pretty much all day, so we're going to go ahead and get done what we can get done in the time that we have. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Alright, so this will give you a good idea of what the tile baseboard looks like. And you can see we continued our sluter down the side there and it tops off the top of the tile all the way around. So it's a really clean look, you know, transition from the floor to the uh, wall um, and it gets rid of that uh, wood baseboard with the shoe molding. Um, so this is a lot easier to clean. Um, so it, it's gonna be in the long run. Uh, I, I guess it just comes down to a personal preference. You know, the uh, wood base is nice. There's nothing wrong with it. But this, uh, it's just a hard surface. So when you mop the floor in here, you know, that part will get clean. And you won't have to come back and dust the baseboards uh, like you used to. So that's what it looks like. Still gotta put a piece in there to complete that off. Uh, now we're working on the baseboards on this side. And to do that, I brought the, the vanity back in here uh, so that we can know where the baseboard is gonna stop. So the baseboard is gonna come here, it's just gonna bump right into the side of the vanity. So it's gonna bump there and also the side here. Uh, it's gonna start here, it's gonna go back up into that corner because this vanity there's a little gap around the side here, but our vanity top sort of hangs over a little bit. Uh, but we sort of want this vanity sitting dead center on top of our pipe because that's also where our vanity light location is set up, um, right in the middle there. So we want to stay with that pretty consistent. Um, and we have the space between the toilet and the sink. So that's where we're at. We're going to go ahead and finish off the baseboard and move to the next thing.
so we have everybody here in the bathroom and we're gonna go through this paint selection um, this is this is the uh, colors that we have you can see they all are pretty close Let's see, can you get them there all right so the, the, this is uh, what I have selected down and you can see I'm thinking of having a lighter gray a, a lighter tone gray um, up against you know this, this dark gray color so with the camera that there are gonna be some shadows so um, I'm gonna let them take a look and, and, and see what they like. Hand me the other power, please. And I'm gonna show you why I didn't choose a lot of these. Um, so here's a good example right here. So just, just looking at the tile, you don't want it to be too dark in the room and that's an extreme uh, example of it being really dark. And this is a example of it being re really light. So you want to be a little lighter than this one here, but again, not as dark as that. So uh, a good option when, when you're selecting paint colors is to go to the store, grab these little fans and just see which ones uh, that you like. Now, all the ones that, that I've chosen so far are in the same tone, which is a light tone, um, much lighter than a, a medium tone uh, But each one of these have a different little bit of color in them. Let me see it real quick So you see it for example just these three hold on to that one Just with, with, with these three You can see that this first one ha has a blue tone and the uh, middle one hold on one second The, the middle one has a, a green tone Let me get it to focus real quick. There we go. And you see the last one that's right here in the inside that has like a cream or beige tone. They're all really light, uh, but have a little bit of tone. Now all of these are like gray colors, but the tone is different. Now let me see that one gray one. Flip, put it in my hand. There you go. So this one that's all the way to the right, that's the, the grayest one of them all. So we're gonna see which which one each person decided to, to, to go with. Uh, Gio, are you, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, what's the name of your color? It's on the back. It's on the back. Okay, put, put it up there on the wall. Let's see it next. So this is the one that, that's the grayer choice. And if you see the white around it, this is what the ceiling and the trim is gonna look like next to the gray. So our ceilings, we're gonna paint white. This color we're choosing now is, is the wall color. All right, so that, that's one for titanium. What, what do you got, Jamie? Dolphin fin. Dolphin fin, yeah. okay. Uh, again, very, very similar, but it has a little bit tone of blue in it. It's really light though. But it is basically another great color. Dolphin fin. Um, I'm torn between these two, but I think I'm leaning more towards Hush. I like the light color. Okay, Hush. So what's interesting about Hush is that it has a, a little bit uh, tone of blue in it, mm -hmm. right? Right. And so that tone of blue over a bigger space is going to be more blue. Right, so everything is gonna be more than, than what it is on the card. Mm -hmm. um, and this is actually where, I actually like all of these colors, but I ended up going back and forth mm -hmm. with these two here. One has a little bit of a greener tone, but it's still blue and gray. But the Hush definitely has more of a, little bit more of a light blue tone in it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm at the same spot. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do? Well, why, why are you gonna paint the ceiling white? Okay, so we paint the ceilings white because it makes the room feel bigger. The, the lighter the color, um, you know, the bigger it's gonna feel. And also it gives us an opportunity at this line to do a nice cut in line all the way around. And you can notice the difference between the two colors. All right, so let, let's look at these two. If we had a choice between those two, let me say mine first, because I went last last time. I'm gonna go, oh man, 
I'm gonna go with. I'm going with Hush. I'm, I'm going blue. I'm going blue. What do you think, Jayla? I was gonna say Hush too. You're going Hush? Yeah. You want. Jill, Jill, what's the other one? You want fast as the wind. Which one do you like? Seriously, just your honest opinion. The bottom bottom one? Okay, Okay, so so what's that? Three three to one again? Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, so we're gonna go with the Hush. Yep. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get get that going now. All right, thanks everybody. So here's where we are at the end of this weekend. You can see our nicely painted white ceiling and that has two coats on it. Actually, it has a primer first and then two coats of matte white bare marquee paint. You can see our nice tile layout. Just love that step pattern on that tile. Love the way that looks once it's all done. You can see the step pattern on the floor as well. You can see our fresh new baseboard that we put in. Um, we still have to uh, grout the baseboard. So that'll be in the next video. We'll grout that baseboard. You can see our nice Schluter metal coming all the way down. Now finishing off that tile nicely. And that's like a 
a brushed nickel finish. Same as what we're going to use for the faucets and the vanity light. See our space there for the vanity set set up nicely. See our baseboards on this side. It's a nice up close look. Now we go through and we caulk all of that completely solid. You know, wall to tile transition will be caulked in nicely. And this will give you a good look of our wall color that we chose. We chose a uh, bare marquee hush. Uh, the the color is called hush in their line. And like I said before in the in the video, whatever color that you choose on those color fans, the color is definitely gonna be more. So you can see this looks a little bit more blue than what it looked like on that fan. And that's because it's over a, a bigger space. So over a, a bigger space, you know, whatever color you have, it's gonna look more of what you see. You can see that nice transition from white to that. Now, this is exactly what we expected. What we, what we were looking for, so it works out perfect. But sometimes with, with, with colors, people don't uh, realize what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done. So what we suggest to uh, clients sometimes is to uh, just get a little small container of a few different paint colors that's in the range that you're looking for. And you can actually come to your space and paint it on the wall and you can see what it's gonna look like so that you don't make that mistake I, I think the the high-end bare marquee paint might be $50 a gallon so um, it's, a, it's a $50 decision you know if you don't like the color so you know you just got to keep all of those things in mind we still have to paint this this door and frame here I think right now it's like an off-white cream color but we want to get everything popping with that nice white color just like the ceiling and this looks completely contemporary, completely uh, up to date and very nice. You know, you see the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. That also makes a, a big difference. So here, here's where we're at so far. Um, we're we're going to go ahead and close out this video. And I will see you on the next one. I thank everybody for supporting the channel. Uh, we really, our views have, have really gone up. Our comments, our likes, our shares have really gone up. Please continue to do that. I uh, thank you so much for all the all the support. And and like we said in previous videos, we will have our merch out soon. Um, everybody's asking for it, so we're working hard to to be able to get it out there so that you can further support the channel and also just promote the channel. Really, um, a lot of people. Uh, that you know may have homes and may want to take a look at this content this content could help them whether they, they do these projects themselves or if they want to hire somebody at least you know what these projects look like and what they should look like so um, these videos are, are very helpful in, in my opinion so please share them to your social medias uh, to your Facebook I think you can directly share off the, the video that is a link down below you can click that share button and share to facebook and so when people see your share on facebook they can click right on the link and get them right to the video it's really easy it's really simple um, and if you're in the dmv area and, and you're looking for someone to come and help you with your project you know you, you really like what we're doing here uh we, we can definitely come out and, and, and take a look at your space and offer some suggestions uh, if you're trying to sell a property you know we, we can come in and tell you what's going to work to get that house sold quickly so how to contact us um, is through our gmail our gmail is springdalecc at gmail.com again that's springdalecc at gmail.com I'll post a link in the description below. All right, y'all have a great week. Hope you had a great weekend. And we're on to the next. Have a great one. God bless.